Canada, the land of 10 beautiful provinces. Here we are. The fifth installment of world updates this year by the way. And hopefully, we all got ourselves updated with the latest world update 11. A day to keep us busy uncovering all the improved areas in this region. Now high level speaking, by now we pretty much know what changes we're expecting on this update. It's a must to have updated elevation data. Now this has been improved along with photogrammetry and aerolimetry giving us an overall better visual experience. By the way, make sure to subscribe, we cover the most on what's been happening at the sim. Now just for the purpose of reference, my card is a 2080 Super, set at ultra for the most part. Updating regions is not an easy task, there's plenty of effort that goes into this and the team have refined this area with the latest geospatial data that the team could get. This includes digital elevation modeling, satellite imagery and aerial imagery. Now there are 12 photogrammetry cities in this update. That means 12 cities have seen a dramatic change. From Halifax, Sherbrooke, Abbotsford, Saskatoon, Toronto, Montreal, Regina, Calgary, Victoria, Laval and Vancouver. A good use of surface morphing. That's basically a technique that cleverly renders a region in a better fashion. It's given that the sim demands requirements and greater attention to detail from simmers like us. This can help obtain a good resolution that can be well represented without really taxing the application. DEM data is needed and a requirement of world updates. It's good to see that the use of DEM data can help the sim truly represent a topographic surface of the earth. Now sim update 10 mentioned on fixes towards clouds, but I still see them here and there, even post sim update 10. The clouds can be much better over time, but at the moment, but the team have done a good job on sim updates, fixing the clouds slowly. It still would take time, but it's manageable though. Canada certainly sees some difference. What matters to me would be the difference in data generation, when you compare a point of interest and the buildings close by. We're right now flying over Montreal, a region that had a greater French influence. That means a lot of French architecture to be seen. I do think that the buildings being represented here looks much above par. Things have improved to a large extent here. Most of us really didn't have any issues updating the patch and partnerships is what makes things happen. Many teams have gone to lens and pretty much every update they are in charge of points of interest. Usually a team called Perfect Flight who are a part of world updates offers us bush trips, discovery flights and landing challenges and I hope that they took care of this effort as well and very commonly. Airport data are some of the things that are included during world updates. We didn't see them in this update however. There are plenty of areas to be addressed still. If you observe from this update, we see a small change. A change on roads. Not the signs, forget about the signs for now. A needed aspect for sure at the sim. Roads can make a bit of a difference in a scenery. If you take a good look at them, we see much more details on roads now. And it gets more interesting when you fly VFR. Hopefully, we see the signs get fixed. One of the issues I faced was a settings menu. It appears that I had to turn off the POI display markers multiple times. It's a small issue, but fixable. Another common issue would be buildings. It has a melted cake to feel it if I may say so. Now let's look at the bright side in this particular aspect. It appears that the generation of building assets via Black Shark AI has seen a progress. It has improved a great deal. In terms of airports, 5 airports from Bella Coola, CYCB, CYCG, Dawson City, Deer Lake and CYFB. Let's look at some of them here. The Bella Coola Airport. Runway textures appear to be well done here, plus a good use of ground assets that can relate to the environment. This isn't live weather by the way, but it looks quite pleasant. If you turn on the live weather, we see quite a difference here. It's not an easy task to develop airports, especially with the use of ground assets. This can tax the system to a great deal. With plenty more things on ground, it can bring down the frames per second, not really giving you that buttery landing what we hope for. The Castlegar Airport, CYCG in short, also known as West Kootenay Regional Airport. This is a small regional airport that's located at British Columbia. We have 5 airports that's been reworked in this update. 87 points of interest, each of them carefully crafted and hoping to not tax our systems. My frames per second aspect was affected when I flew over a few points of interest. But I think it is an interesting aspect to experience each of these points of interest. Not just the Prince of Wales Hotel, we see good reworking of elevation detail on the surroundings areas as well. 
There's so much more to discover in Canada. Overall, I would say I'm quite pleased and it has to be the foundation of the code with Sim Update 10 that made things more seamless to integrate with World Update 11. The scenery looks much more refined. Looked well after with better DEM data, elevation detail, imagery plus the manor buildings are generated using Black Shark AI. It appears that buildings do relate to this region and not a default generation. One of the things I was very curious was the eastern coast, a focus on Montreal. The reason being is that this was a French colony before. It still has most of the buildings with that architecture, which is beautiful by the way. It appears that this does look like Montreal and the settings are all set to max here with Ultra. The graphics card used here is an RTX 2080 Super. A good update as mentioned and there's a lot of work that goes behind. Big thanks to the team again for this. We have plenty to uncover. Do subscribe to get notified. Until next time, take care and happy flying.